The Pride shows over the years have been very innovative and avant-garde, and this year it was time to mix that up a little bit. It was time to do something that was more um, reflective with the audience and accessible uh, with, with a broad range of listeners. This year more than ever, even um, after you know, winning a national championship in 2015, that show was amazing, but um, this year more than ever I've had people, when I have my Letterman jacket come on, come and congratulate me and say, uh, we love the show, it touched me in a way that a marching band show never has. So going out with this show, I thought it was a huge honor because like all of our past shows have been really cool, but going out with something that's really meaningful like to the audience and veterans and ourselves, it's just really special and it's, it's a great way to end it. And it's really fun just to see where all of your hard work has led you to and kind of go out with a bang. This show really symbolizes unity for me, especially in like today's climate. Everything is just so divided and bringing everyone together is an incredible experience. Having that solo was uh, an absolute honor to me. You know, I, it, was, it was amazing to way to end my senior year, but uh, the show meant a lot to me. I've had some family members obviously in the uh, uh, military and just to honor them and all the other uh, military uh, people that have been in our country served, so I you know, felt good. Out of all my four years, this show was definitely the most emotional uh, to everyone and especially to me. It, it was, at some times, it's really, it's really difficult having to keep back the emotions. Our band directors, our instructors at all levels, uh, they have a role and a responsibility of what they contribute and bring to, to our organization, from uh, Dr. Kelly Pence and Trey Lack, who, who head up our brass team, uh, Mr. Morrison and Mr. Smith uh, function through uh, crafting the woodwind aspect of what, what we produce. Um, our percussion section is led uh, by Mr. Adam Winken. And then our color guard team is, is gifted designers, teachers, and many of those students, uh, former students, have come back to be add onto our team with Norn Davison, Sarah Rilio, Bree Shepard, and of course they're led by uh, Wes Cartwright is the, the, the foremost person in our color guard. So it's just a, an amazing team. The Pride wouldn't be any, any more successful than they are if they didn't have the support organization uh, to help facilitate everything we do from uh, the functions team that feeds our kids, the chaperones, the operations team that gets us from one place to the next and loads and moves and builds props and equipment. Our fundraising team takes a village to do one thing and it, their primary mission is to support kids and to support their, their children and the students of the Pride. Through our drum majors and our section leaders and our uh, upperclassmen leadership, there, there becomes this um, expectation that the younger performers, they, they, they don't want to disappoint the experienced members. And that's part of, the, uh, of our history and our heritage, that there's this obligation to, um, to never disappoint one another. And uh, that buy-in, it makes it all about the group and not about the individual. Um, so though we have leaders, um, they're valued performers and they're about leading through example more than through their vocal and outward leadership styles. Being a senior, I am one of like the section leaders, so I am in charge of the large group of girls in Color Guard. And it really feels like almost like a motherly job, but I'm so proud of all the girls that I got to perform with. They held it incredible and going to Indy with them it was an amazing um, experience because they all got to experience performing in front of an audience that truly genuinely cares about what they're doing. This year as a drum major, compared to last year's show and my responsibilities, it's been, it's been pretty much the same, but in some cases it's a little bit different, especially as a senior, being the example to all the younger kids in the band and having to show them what's right. What I'm gonna miss the most is definitely just all the people all the family and all the unity that we have and all the fun times.